Hi guys and welcome to my most challenging video yet and to be honest with you I'm pretty terrified like even the idea of it makes me a bit like fight or flight but I know I need to do this this is part of my recovery and I know it's an important step I need to get past so basically this video is going to be me eating over 5,000 calories my biggest fear foods See like, on a normal day I don't really know how many calories I'm eating because I'm just listening to my body and my mental hunger and it's probably about 5,000 or even over. But the fact that I will actually know I'm eating 5,000 will really kind of, makes me a bit anxious to be honest. But I'm also going to be challenging my fear foods which adds an extra layer onto that. I hope you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and all that jazz as I know it will definitely be worth it. <laughs> Thanks guys, let's get breakfast. Hi guys, so I've got my breakfast here. I've got a bowl of cornflakes with milk in it and this is the start of my challenge. So, before it gets soggy, let's get started. I think I'm gonna get another bowl. <laughs> Finish my cornflakes and I'm gonna get some cornflakes now. So. lunch here we have got a chicken and mayo baguette with some salad and vegetable crisps which are my favorite crisps i think the tyrell's vegetable crisps definitely recommend it if you've not had so basically in this meal my fear food that i'm challenging is white bread it always seems so unnecessary to my head like you should just get brown bread but white bread is just as tasty really so this is a white ciabatta bread and it is delicious so I'm going to eat this, watch on YouTube, and then we'll see what we'll eat then. So it has been about half an hour, 40 minutes since I had lunch, and I was just getting a little pre-snack snack, if you get what I mean. So here for my third challenge of the day, I'm having liquid calories. Because for some reason my head's always said that they're not worth it or they're not as good as calories from food, when really that's just not the case. They're just as worth it and just as nice. Like, no food or drink will ever hurt you as much as your eating disorder will, so we can do this. So here I've got a banana fridge milkshake. So I'm going to drink this, do some I'm work, back, and, and it is currently ten past four. I did not realise how much work I was set today because like each page led onto a different page and a different page and a different page. A bit like an eating disorder. You start on one, you end up 100 pages later. So I've got a bag of Oreos, like mini Oreos. You know it's business when I tie my hair up. Basically, it's literally like these tiny little Oreos and they look so cute, like unbelievably cute if you can see. I don't know if you can see, but let's just give them a taste test. They are good. They are real good. I got myself a cookie because I was still hungry with extreme hunger and all that. So let's give it a little taste test. If you're passing a co-op, you have to try their milk chocolate chunk cookies. They are amazing. I thought I would just come and give you like an update about how I'm feeling in general and about the challenge and where I'm at physically and mentally, if you get what I mean. So I'm just going, we're going to get our tea in a minute. We're going to get Domino's pizza, which... I have not had in four years, 
and I am excited. I've had peats before so it's not as a big deal, like challenge repeat, challenge repeat and it will get easier. It's still challenging but it's not as hard as it used to be. So that's what we're having for tea and then I think I'm going to be having some ice cream so we'll see how that goes. Body image wise it's tough. <laughs> I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it or give you like um, a flossed version of it. Body image I'm struggling with at the moment. It's it, it's a struggle. But it's kind of like, it's body image. It's my image of my body and that doesn't change how nice or of a person I am. People aren't gonna think of me, oh, um, do you remember Jessica? And like, oh yeah, the really skinny one. I don't really want people to remember me for that really, like, if that's if that's all they can remember me for, I don't, that's, I don't want that really. Like, I want people to think, oh yeah, Jess, oh she was really nice, or she tried to help others, oh yeah, she was really friendly, like, I want those kind of things to be on my gravestone, if you get what I mean, rather than just the skinny one, it's like, it doesn't feel really as it, as it has any depth, and I can't be who I want to be, or trying to suppress my body weight. I just I just can't do it. I've tried. I'm grumpy. I'm miserable. I'm horrible. I'm obsessive. I don't have any time for friends. I push people away. I isolate myself. Like, I am no fun and that's not who I want to be. So if that means I have to accept being in a bigger body than I'm, than I'm used to, I'll accept that. I'll, I'll happily take a bigger body than to have no life, really. Like, I want to live. I don't want to just, like, survive. So. Hi guys, so I've got my pizza here from Domino's and I've also got my little garlic dip. I went for ham and pineapple pizza, which is basically, basically it was called Hawaiian pizza. And this is my scariest challenge yet. And the reason, rip this up off. <laughs> the reason being is red meat is a massive fear food of mine. Just all the horrible health things that people say like about it. And so I haven't had red meat in at least four years but it is such a big deal for me but I needed to do it like this is a fear food challenge and the only way I'm gonna beat it is to eat it you gotta eat it to beat it so we can do this guys let's eat this pizza while watching some YouTube But for me, I've been extreme, I'm really bad at extreme hunger for the past month or two and it has been brutal, like every day I've been eating three times this and not been feeling full at all and I've just kind of started the last few days actually getting a bit more full and it just shows you like extreme hunger isn't forever, like if you listen to it, it will go away once your body trusts yourself. But I still got the anorexic thoughts, like... Just leave the sauce, like, you don't need it. Like, I finished both the sauces, and my head was going, just leave the sauce, you don't need to have the sauce, like, you can just have the pizza, the pizza's enough. And I'm like, but I like the sauce. The sauce tastes good, it's a bit like with the liquid calorie thing, like, the sauce is nice, so I'm gonna have it. So that is where I am now, where I am at now. It was good, but I definitely do need a break now. I'm going to recuperate, I'm going to have a bath, or bath, depends on where you're from, and just get my game together. Hi guys, and I am back, and I've had a bath, I'm in this big fluffy jumper. Um, I'm physically quite full, but mentally very hungry, which sounds quite strange, but 
I've also found that when today, while I've been challenging all my fear foods in one day, it often is usually the stuff I've been restricting in the past. So high salt, high sugar, high fat, all those kind of foods. And I found when I'm eating and drinking those foods, I am so thirsty. Like, I've never drunk so much, like, ever. And I just want cold stuff as well, so that's good. Because I've got my tub of Ben and Jerry's. I'm not really sure my opinion on the whole pint party thing. Because I think often it can be disordered. As it's kind of seen that like only when you're in recovery you're allowed to do that. But really, if your body wants that, you can do it whenever your body wants to do that. Like, listen to your body. But I'm really craving something cold. So to finish this 5,000 calories of fear foods, I'm going to have this full tub of ice cream and the rest of my banana fridge milkshake from earlier. Then I'm also going to have a banana and some millionaire shortbread, but this is part one. Once I've eaten this, I'll show you my banana and my millionaire shortbread, and that will be the end of my 5,000 calories of fear foods. <laughs> my battery is going to die very soon so if I suddenly cut off you'll know why. So to finish my 5,000 calorie fair food challenge I've got four Thornton's little shortbreads, I have a banana and I also have some of this raspberry and rose cordial and after I finish these I'll be well over 5,000 calories in my fair foods. I always want bananas are the scariest fruit, liquid calories and Chocolate late at night. It's currently nearly 10 p.m. I'm eating chocolate and shortbread like that is terrifying. But it's the Fear Food 5000 challenge, so we can do this. I'm watching, still watching me before you. Love it. And I finished my milkshake before. Whew. Let's finish this. I'm gonna turn it. I'm off. just saying, but you can never eat a banana attractively. Like, how the hell can you eat this attractively? It's just like you just can't. <laughs> shortbreads. Alright, last one. I'm really full going, but I'm mentally, um, I can still eat this mentally, so I can do this. just finished the 5,000 calorie fear food challenge I don't know what to say like I've still got my drink tab obviously but I'm gonna just drink that for up and I'm not gonna record me drinking cordial but I'm really proud of myself but I'll do a little so it is the next day and I just wanted to come on to say thank you for watching if you've made it this far I was just editing and I just wanted to make sure I said like I'm not restricting or compensating for anything I've eaten yesterday. And just to show you that now, I'm currently just having a bag of curly whirlies the next day, because I fancy them. So I'm just saying how you do not need to restrict or compensate when you listen to your body. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I will see you next time. Bye.